Hey there and welcome to Travel TV on independent.ie. Now with busy skies and crowded tourist resorts, it can sometimes feel like we've run out of new places to go. But there are new frontiers out there and they may be closer to home than you think. Have a look at this. This is Ian Miller, who spends much of his time hiking, paddling and climbing to the top of sea stacks in far-flung corners of Donegal. It's about as far as you can get from a jam-packed beach resort. I met Miller this summer after he emailed me with some tantalising details. There's more than 100 sea stacks scattered off the coast of Donegal, he said, and some of them have been set foot on by fewer people than the moon. So how does he go about climbing these things? Well, first there's the departure point, a storm beach or a remote bay that often involves a hike from the nearest boring. Then he sets sail in a kayak or inflatable dinghy, paddling out to the offshore giant. Miller's company Unique Ascent also does hill walking and other adventures, but the stacks, great shards of rock punching up from the ocean, are where he's breaking boundaries. After the sea crossing comes the climb. Here's some footage of Miller scaling a stack called Blade on Oe Island. And another epic climb at Knucknamara, which requires a hike, an abseil, a paddle, a climb, and a ridge traverse to get to the summit. Needless to say, the dangers here are many. You need fitness, navigational skills, technical rock climbing abilities, and good old fashioned cojones to get to the top. The rewards, of course, are stonking views. Miller describes gaining the summit of a sea stack as like being reborn into a world where anything is possible. It's just you and the wild Atlantic way. And the best bit? Well, you can do it too, if you're brave enough, that is. Miller offers climbing trips from 120 euro a day and he caters for absolute beginners. I climbed the sea stack off the Schlieve League Peninsula with him this summer. It pushed me way out of my comfort zone. Get ready for dry mouth and shaky hands. But I always felt safe and it was always fun. Nine out of ten people he takes to the summits have never climbed before. And there you have it. You can find out more about Ian on uniqueascent.ie and another instructor, Brendan Whelan of wildatlanticwayclimbing.com offers similar trips in Inish Owen. Now, needless to say, the footage in this week's show features a fully qualified professional rock climbing instructor. Rock climbing can be extremely dangerous and should never be undertaken without suitable levels of expertise and experience. In other words, don't try this at home. Till next time. Safe travels.